Hello and welcome my friend. And next I am planning to do that how we can do this valve compression and contact test. And this contact test purpose is that when we have take these valves free, like in that way, that they are free to handle, then we insert these valves back in these holes and if we have a small screwdriver I can lift that valve out and then also that one and now they are free an idea is that in that area this small contact area in here that I am touching this is really critical and this face should be almost this 45 degree angle that area this slope in here and it takes contact in here that other side and then when I I do this contact test I insert that same valve in their area and then when I move that the specific tool I should to test that how well this my valve take contact contact in that other side and here as we can see this is quite rusty and that means that now I believe that this contact is not so excellent that we should do should to police that contact point in some 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 machine or maybe maybe some sandpaper is also fine because this contact between that metallic part and then that other part is the critical. And then when we look that other this valve, this uh, contact area in here, this should be all places in grey. And then I noticed that I have this second valve and there is something damaged. When we look in here, it looks that if, if we can see that kind of damage in our valves in here this means that now we need to re immediately replace new valve because there is now two very big leak in between that cylinder head opposite opposite this area and then this valves this contact contact head area now when I insert that in here there is situation that I, I can guarantee that we have leak leak in that area Okay, but this this another valve is quite okay. I need to only police this other contact area and then there is good contact. Okay, that kind of information and thank you for watching.